last fall, I started excavation in this site for a uh, sawmill shed and finally got it done just recently. It's a 24 by 48 pavilion style, uh, about 12 feet high, plenty of room for my wood miser and my edger and possibly a slab mill if I decide to do it. So stay tuned, I'll go through the process of building this and uh, finally reveal what I ended up with. And thanks for watching. Um, taking a little video, get out of here, Mundover. Taking a little video of uh, some excavation I'm having done for a uh, another pole building, probably a pavilion, maybe 64 by uh, 40, maybe some sheds on the side. I'm doing that for my sawmill. John at Butternut Hill Farm here. Well, it's finally gonna happen. After a long preparation time, I'm gonna start on my sawmill shed within two days. It'll be 24 by 48 pavilion style. Ultimately, I'll close it in with some rough sawn wood. Uh, the can am UTV sitting roughly in the middle of where the shed will be. So the trusses have been delivered. The roofing and the rest of the materials. So it's a long time coming. You can refer back to my video from the summer when I had all this excavated. This was a big gully and we used surrounding wood to fill it in and ultimately I put a bunch of rock on top. I'll have to put more. The shed will ultimately be concreted. I'll put my wood miser in there, the sawmill and the edger.
So after several months of having the pad down, getting some rock on it and allowing it to settle, we finally got started on the sawmill shed. It's going to be uh, 24 by 48 and about 12 and a half to 13 foot uh, high in the center to the bottom of the trusses. Uh, got a full 24 foot opening on one end be about a 12 foot opening on the other end and two 16 foot openings on the sides. Um, tomorrow I'm going to set header boards and uh, hopefully get some rafters up if not all of them. And then ultimately I'll side it with uh, rough sawn lumber, probably poplar hopefully. And uh, really anxious to get it done. I'll let it settle some more and then ultimately I'll put a concrete floor on it. So that's one day's worth of work. Tomorrow I'll hopefully see more and hopefully be some more footage. Stay tuned. Day number two on the sawmill shed edition. Looking pretty good. Got all the trusses up, got the purlins on, all the poles are sank set levels. Like I'm gonna have 12, maybe 12 and a half feet clearance, which should be more than enough for the sawmill at full mast. 24 by 48, I think will give me plenty of room. Got a full 24 wide opening on the end here. metal roof uh, with galvalume on the evens and ultimately have uh, rough sawn, hopefully poplar uh, siding. So a lot of progress on day two. Tomorrow they're going to start putting the roofing on if the weather holds out I believe. So there you have it. So here's the sawmill shed getting closer to being finished. Uh, have all the uh, metal on the roof. Uh, got the supports all put in. Getting ready for uh, boxing in the eaves, putting in the uh, sheet metal on the gable ends. And uh, I'll wire it or have it wired so I can hook my generator up to it and uh, run lights if I need to at night time. I'll put some LED lights in it uh, as well as receptacles uh, for power and I'll run it off my Honda generator until I eventually run electric to it. The uh, structure will eventually be enclosed. Thank you.